John, okay. perhaps you'll tell us what you're doing, sir. Oh, I'm taking a photograph of this wonderful cake. Now I can pan down to the cake. Oh, there it is. It's over on that side. I don't think you're going to really see much of this cake. So, Jane, would you uh, please explain the discrepancy between the uh, date on the cake and the date on the matches? I think it's because some of the gentlemen that, that when they decided to order the matches knew that the club was organized in 1887, but they didn't think it was established in 1888. But we now know that it was first established in 1887, and the matches are up. The cake is correct. <laughs> Thank you all for being here tonight. Um, I think it's uh, also a very special thank you to His Honor for taking the time to be here and the Deputy Premier of the Province of Manitoba. And at this time I call upon the uh, Lieutenant Governor to say a few words and he will then uh, do the official opening by cutting the ribbon being held by our President and you all know Jane Graham. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. It's an honor and a pleasure for me as the Lieutenant Governor of the province to be invited here the, this evening at the reopening of this club, the oldest press club in Canada. Uh, and But we're not just uh, celebrating a reopening here this evening, although we're doing that, and we're not, uh, we're not just uh, celebrating the press club, although, although we're doing that. Uh, at the same time that we're doing everything else, we're indeed uh, celebrating a part of Canada's history. Now having said that, I don't want to say that uh, the, press, the press club is history or that, uh, <laughs> or that it's uh, some place uh, behind uh, or, uh, some kind of a museum, uh, but it continues to be, uh, judging by the uh, enthusiasm here this evening, it continues to be very much a part of the, the community here in Winnipeg and it looks like it will continue to be very much a part of, of uh, Manitoba and Canada's history, I'm sure, for a long time to come. And as long as it's here, of course, it's going to continue to be the oldest in Canada. Uh, these kinds of celebrations give us an opportunity to pay tribute to the founders of this club. It gives us an opportunity to pay tribute to the people, the movers and the shakers who have, have uh, uh, ensured that it uh, continued uh, in its work over the last 110 or so years, uh, the, the, the press and the media are really people. Strong, enthusiastic people uh, making a very valuable contribution to our, our community. Congratulations to the members and to the executive. Uh, I'm told that I have the uh, privilege of uh, doing the first uh, official cutting of the ribbon with a brand new scissors, and I consider it an honor to have this privilege. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. And uh, now comes the fun part. If somebody would find that rug for us, we got a prop man hired, but I don't know where he is. 
Oh, the president's going to find the rug for it. And the deputy premier of the province, Mr. Jim Downey, is going to um, do something that's an old tradition, and that is to christen institutions like the Winnipeg Press Club. And um, we want to remind you that in this press club, we use only the holiest of waters. <laughs> and now we'll have the formal anointing of the press club. Chairman, uh, Madam President, the members of the press club, uh, I wonder if it would be only appropriate uh, that I run it through before I put it on the <laughs> being a little too frugal at times. I won't be too frugal tonight. <laughs> but I just want to say on behalf of Premier Filman and my colleagues, Manitoba Legislature, I don't know whether there are any other politicians here tonight or not. So I've got my 40 minutes, their 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Chairman, I won't do that. <laughs> and, and Your Honor, of course, uh, you said that, that a very lively crowd. Actually, some 20 years ago when I started coming to the press club upstairs, it seemed the longer the evening went on, the more lively it got. So I will not, I will not uh, delay. So tonight I'm, I'm deeply honored to be here to officially christen, to reopen a historic part of the press club here in Winnipeg. <laughs> that I wasn't invited to do the auction here in 1972 when they sold the old one out. But if you could find me, if you could actually find me a beer mug that uh, has a little bit of something different about it, I would, I'll sell you the beer bottle, but that's only worth the $25. If we had a mug to go with it, then we could have a piece of history that's auctioned off here tonight that can help uh, commemorate this particular event here tonight. Have you, got a, have you got a mug that I could auction off to this fine crowd? I mean, after all, you probably get more for it if you filled it full of beer, but... <laughs> Is that, would that be all right, Mr. Chairman? And, and Your Honor, would you, would you uh, mind if we did that tonight? You, you've been at an auction sale before. You know how the rules are. Everybody can bid. It's only the last one that has to pay. We made, there's a tremendous piece of entertainment that's contributed by by the people from this fine organization. This is Beer and Skits Mug to open the new location, the old new location of the Press Club here in Winnipeg. Who wants to bid? Who oh, go ahead? Who said twenty-five dollars? Twenty-five and the fine. Twenty dollars and go. Twenty bid and the five. I had twenty bid and the twenty-five. This is a historic mug. Oh, we're yeah, we're gonna sell that. There. Yeah. Oh, you got oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I want mine back. Oh, yeah. On this one. Actually, I have twenty dollars bid. Does the ma'am? Does the bid stand for twenty dollars on this one? Yes, it does. Twenty bid to twenty-five. I have twenty bid to twenty-five. Twenty bid to twenty-two and a half. Twenty bid now to fifty. I have twenty bid now to and a half. Two fifty now twenty-five. Twenty six fifty bid to twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thank you. Now twenty-seven and a half. Twenty-five bid seven and a half. Twenty-five bid now seven and a half. 